integrals can sometimes be tricky. And in this integral, we actually need to use one of these special u substitution forms over here on the right. And this actually looks like an arc sine integral. So that's what I'm gonna help show you. And this requires u substitution. First, you can see that u squared would match up with x plus seven squared. Therefore, my u is x plus seven. I need to take the derivative of u in terms of x, and as you can see here, that would just be one. So if I solve for du, I can see that du is equal to dx, which means I can replace the dx in this problem with a du. Furthermore, I can see right here that my a squared is equal to 49, which means a has to be equal to seven. I'm going to use this information to rewrite this integral. First, I'm going to bring the three out in front of the integral just to show it's a constant multiple. And then here I have one over the square root of, well, I already said that a squared was 49, so I can rewrite this as a squared minus and I already indicated that u was x plus seven, so this would be u squared. Furthermore, I can replace the dx with the du as shown here. Now I'm ready to integrate, and I can use this special integration rule. So I know that the integral of this would be three arc sine of u over a, and don't forget, because we are integrating, we do need to add our plus c, and we are integrating an indefinite integral. All right, it's time to plug back in our u and our a, and then we will be done. x plus seven over seven is going to be that part, and then plus c, and that is how you integrate this given problem. If you found this useful, make sure to click subscribe so that you're notified when new videos come out to help you in your calculus classes.